There's no love left in my Lovejoy coupling. Hi everyone. Today I'm doing some maintenance on the log splitter. For those of you that want to know what a Lovejoy coupling is, this is the hydraulic pump, the output of the motor. So in between, there is a coupling right here. And in between the output shaft of the motor and the input shaft of the pump, you have this coupling. Well, if you look here, that just kind of rattles around there. And that's because this piece is missing. This is the rubber bushing that goes in between the coupling. So that has to be replaced. I think I can get away with removing one, two, three nuts and just laying the pump off to the side here. And really all I need to do is back it out far enough that I can put the rubber bushing back in. So that's what I'm going to try to do is get the get these nuts undone. They're a little bit rusty. So I'm going to shoot them with some... Uh, penetrating oil and see if we can get them undone. Okay, so that bolt goes all the way through. Gunner, must you, must you, go away. <laughs> he can't help it. Ah, there we go. A little frozen. Okay, so I got the bottom two off. Now I'll try to get this one. I needed to get a longer, a longer half inch wrench to get behind this because everything is in the way. <clears throat> okay, it looks like it's gonna come right off. Yep, it will. Okay, take that off. It looks that way. Let's see how deceiving looks can be. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay. Wow. So this has been broken out of there for a long time, unfortunately. And I really hope that this fits. It looks like it's the right one. So there is, there is definitely damage to this Lovejoy coupling because of that rubber bushing not being in there. All right, so bolt holes are lined up. the right one and it fits there okay now I have succeeded in shoving the the bolts all the way back. <laughs> That's not really what I wanted to do. Just need to get one on there. Okay. Now I will show you what it looks, what it's supposed to look like. So the coupling has has three studs, I guess you would say, on on each side there, and that rubber bushing simply fits in between. And then when the uh, when the engine turns, it's pushing against the rubber bushing and not metal to metal. Now we just have to put our nuts back on. Lock washer. Okay. 
So the moral of the story here is make sure that you are checking the coupling between the engine and the pump on your log splitter. If that rubber bushing is missing, it's going to destroy the coupling. And that's not good. It's also not good to run the log splitter in that condition. That is maintenance on the Lovejoy coupling between the engine and the hydraulic pump. Don't forget to check it on your log splitter. Make sure that rubber bushing is there. If you enjoyed this, or if this was useful, give me a thumbs up and have a great day. Thank you for watching.